We've been doing this thing called Ask a Pastor. We have little bitty cards around. If you guys have a question, you can write it down, and I'll try to answer it the best I can. If I can't, guess what? We'll find somebody who can, or sometimes we just don't know, right? Um, but this is one, uh, one question that came up recently, and I thought in light of this morning's study that this was very fitting. And the question is, why does God not allow me to join a career I feel best suits my skills. And this would definitely feel, you know, fall into that feeling of, hey, I'm wandering. I, I don't know what's going on. I don't know where I'm going. I just kind of feel stuck here, okay? Um, and this came from an anonymous person, which you guys are welcome to put that, but I'd love to know who's asking these questions so we can talk more at length. But I want to keep these ask a qu- or pastor questions really short thing is, as we look to the scriptures, guys, there's no specific guidance given. You won't find a single verse that says, hey, you should be a, you know, subway worker and, you know, hook up Pastor Landon with some sweet subs. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't say specifically what you should do. So there's no instruction given from God's word on whether you should become an engineer, a teacher, or whatever career you should have. But what do we do? Do And I want to give you three things that we should do when it comes to asking God these type of questions. Because we are given gifts. I mean, look around the room for a moment. We all have different talents, different skills, right? And sometimes we're like, hey, you are so gifted with this, you should really do this with your life. And that would make sense. But what do we know about God? His ways aren't always our ways, okay? I'm called to be a teacher, Okay, that's one of those things that's a calling by God. If you look at my past and my education, well, that doesn't work. That doesn't fit, you know. How, how would you do that? And it comes down to, again, what is God asking in our lives? And we don't know unless we're actually talking. Are we actually seeking him? So the first thing I'd ask you guys to do is really pray. What do you want, God? You've given me gifts and talents. What do you want me to do? to do with them and the second thing is to be patient how many of you guys want everything right now like hey i have this i should be doing that right now today why aren't these doors opening sometimes god may have something in sight for you but it's just not time yet and his timing is often different than ours is and that's why it's good to wait on the lord because as we pray he will answer he'll either say yes no or wait. How many of you guys are on, you know, a waiting right now? God has just told you, hey, it's a waiting season. You know, you haven't got a clear answer. The only answer is wait right now. And the third thing is be wise. Do you guys know that in a multitude of counselors, there is safety, there is wisdom, and that's why it's really good to have people in your life that can counsel you well. So have wise counsel around you. Have those conversations, especially young people who are going to be choosing, hey, what am I going to do with my life? What does God have? Okay? Get to know some older brothers or sisters that you respect. Have them speak into your life to be praying for you. And make those choices very wise because sometimes we make our choices based on just, hey, this is my skill or this is what they did, so I should probably do the same thing. No, no. You seek the Lord and what he would have. And then Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your steps. And I think that is the biggest thing that we can do as believers when we have a question like this. God, what do you have? It seems like this should be happening, and it's not happening. Well, don't lean on your own understanding. Seek the Lord, okay? And he'll direct your steps. Amen? Amen.